Okay, we're going to take a look at the same program, except we're going to enhance the program to make considerations for overtime. So again, let's take a look at the program again, and then we'll work through the flowchart as to how this will work. It says create a program that will calculate the amount a worker will make at a pizza shop if they're paid $10 per hour. Similar to the, the first program, we're going to have to determine the variables. And again, when we look at these, our variables are going to be very similar to what we worked with the last time. We need to know the time worked, the pay rate. We're also going to consider this time, though, if an employee works more than 40 hours. And if they are, then they would be paid time and a half for the additional time. And then again, of course, we'd have our amount due. Um, when we start to think about the algorithm and how this would work, again, we would be using the same formula, the time work time the pay, times the pay rate. Um, I have gone ahead and I've updated our previous model. And so let me expand this so that we can look at the, um, uh, at the program here. You'll notice that whenever we start begin to look at this, we have our basic input, which was time, our rate, which was $10. The difference is we're going to come in and we're going to use an if statement to evaluate whether an employee has worked more than 40 hours. So whenever we create or add an if statement, which is the little triangle that, we're, uh, that we have there to uh, make a decision, we're going to take a look to see if the hours are greater than 40. If they are 40 or less, then we would just take the time times the pay rate, and it would give us our answer, displaying it just like it did the last time. However, if an employee works more than 40 hours, then we would simply calculate the pay rate by taking 40 times our normal pay rate, and then adding to that the uh, taking the total time and subtracting 40 to get the extra hours and then multiplying that times our regular rate and then times time and a half or 1.5 to get our final answer. So let's take a look at how this particular program will work. If we were to run the program again if we started out looking at 40 hours it would go through and it would do a calculation and based on our uh, information, it would be 40 or less, so we would take 40 times the rate of 10 or get $400. Now, if we were to go in and let's say that we worked 42 hours, okay, if we worked 42 hours, 42 hours would be greater than 40, so we would come over to this side, the false side, and we would take 40 times the rate for 400 we would take the additional two hours and multiply that times time and a half, which should give us $430. And you'll see that whenever we do our calculation, it goes through and calculates that as 430. So again, whenever we're planning our programs, some of the times we will have to make decisions as to whether something is you know, larger or smaller than a particular number, or if we were comparing text, um, whether it does compare or does not compare. Um, and then based on that, it would determine the type of algorithm that we needed uh, to do the appropriate calculations to come up with a correct answer based on the particular circumstances or situation that we have at that particular time.